Hey guys, so welcome to Ice Age Collision Course Movie Review. Now, I gotta say, the setting seems cold, but this whole thing is a hot mess. I, this movie, okay, I wanted to love it. I really did. Uh, in fact, you know, maybe uh, there were only like maybe two or three characters that stood out. Okay, so um, one of them was played, what's her name? By Wendy, uh, Wendy Sykes, Wanda Sykes. Her granny character obviously is hilarious because she's she says the most stupidest stuff and she sounds erratic. And, you know, that's kind of funny. But mostly, okay, so this is how the, the movie goes. So the main characters are, they're afraid because they know that they're about to become extinct because a prophecy says that every hundred million years or whatever, a comet comes down and destroys the earth and then creates an extinction of whatever animal that lives there before that. So, of course, our main characters are afraid of that, so they set off to try and, um, they set off to try and find a way, I guess, I guess. I, I'm just, I'm just trying to put it into better words without, you know what, spoilers alert, I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to say everything. So, basically, our main characters are going to set off to prevent, or, yeah, are going to set off to prevent a... Uh, meteor from crashing down on Earth and killing everyone, and they're led by a a mongoose. Okay, I don't know if he's a mongoose or not. I mean, in my opinion, he is a mongoose, but I'm not so sure. But uh, he, the mongoose, is kind of crazy, and he prophesied that the world's gonna end. So the mongoose is like, "Hey, I got follow me. I have this really great idea. Uh, we're gonna go." to the mountains and and find this super the super magnetic rock to attract to attract the meteor away from earth so they were going to shoot that rock all the way up to earth or whatever so what happened or all the way into space so what happened is turns out this character this crazy prof prophet Oh, I should call him a prophet. Prophet Mongoose. This crazy prophet has a pass. And his pass consists of three bird-dinosaur hybrids. And as we know, dinosaurs apparently were, I don't know, they were apparently birds, or a combination between birds and dinosaur, I think. So these, these evil, quote-unquote, characters are that, this antagonist. They are T-Rex mixed with, like, a parrot hybrid or whatever. And they have beef with Prophet Mongoose. And so Prophet Mongoose is not telling everyone that he's trying to run away from these um, T-Rex birds. So they end up, he ends up taking them through a forest. This forest has a bunch of creepy stuff and a lot of electrical field stuff. And there's some funny moments where the electricity is like shocking them and stuff. And that's cute. That's cool. Anywho, finally they get out of that and they get to this area full of crystals. And these crystals are meteor crystals. And apparently it has the ability to make anyone young as long as it's in, in, it's in whole piece. Like as long as it's in... It's intact. Well, of course, being that everyone's a hot mess, uh, someone breaks the, the meteor wall, and now everyone, all the animals that lived in, in that, you know, paradise-like area turns old because they're actually 300, 400 years old, but they're only kept young and peaceful because of this meteor. So now everyone's all sad. Now, you know, people feel bad for breaking it, blah, blah, blah. Now the T-Rex birds finally catch up. I like the scene where he swallows, um, where one of the T-Rex birds swallows Granny and <laughs> Granny's like putting up a fight in his stomach. And Granny goes, there's a point where you can see Granny's towards the butt part of of the T-Rex bird. And Granny goes, 
oh, now I can see, I can see light from here. I see light. I'm a vibe. So it just cracked me up because, you know, we all know she's looking through his butthole and that's where she can see light. So it was kind of funny. Um, there was a scene where Granny gets, gets kind of knocked off a cliff. Uh, she just never dies and it cracks me up. Anywho, so towards the end, they finally catch up to Prophet, the T-Rex birds finally catch up to Prophet Mongoose. Hey, sorry. Uh, the T-Rex finally ca um, catches up to Prophet Mongoose and is about to kill him. But then, you know, there's some heartfelt moments that happen. You know what? I don't want to do something bad. You know, I just, I just want to, like, live a peaceful life or whatever. So then... So then everyone works together to get this huge rock into a volcano. The volcano shoots up the rock into outer space. The meteor that's supposed to come to Earth decides to be attracted to this magnetic rock and explodes in space, not on Earth. And that's how Earth is saved. Good. Honestly, for what it is, I mean, you could, you could possibly, probably watch it on the sci-fi, not sci-fi channel, on some Disney, uh, not even Disney, on some cartoon channel. It's not really like a movie-worthy, movie-worthy um, film. It's kind of a hot mess. It's not as cinematic as we'd like it. Anywho, I just thought it was okay. So hopefully you guys like it. Thanks for listening.